Hi guys, um, I'm sorry if this video is going to be a little bit shaky, but I wanted to make a video, hold on just one second, about this, um, oh no, that's fantastic, it's basically a little, um, portable art desk slash easel stand thingy. And it looks like this. It's uh, really hard to do this with one hand on the camera. But there it is. Um, these also hold the whole thing shut when it's closed, but I just put this up here ahead of time so I wouldn't have to put the camera down to show you guys. But yeah, basically the reason why I made this is I was at, uh, Starbucks one day and I was wanting to do some watercolor sketches of people and whatnot, but I was having a really difficult time, um, philandering around. I didn't, it was too full, so I didn't get a table a chair with a table or a seat like that. Um, I just got one of those, um, there's a leather little seat things and to try to get my canvas and my watercolors and my water and my brushes and everything at my disposal in a nice organized way laying where I needed to <laughs> was not working out. So I'm like, wouldn't it be nice if you just had like a plate with your, um, back part of the desk thing attached where you could just put your canvas and it's all in one place and that's all you need and I'm like oh well let's see if I can make one so I drew a little um <laughs> a picture on my like a little blueprint of what I wanted to make and here it is all it is is just two um things of chipboard right here and two on the back um, I cut it down a few inches off the edge here because I wanted it to be more um, compact, not so huge. And yeah, the inside I painted white and the outside of this I painted black. Um, basically, I would recommend if you guys want to do this that you paint it so that if you do spill any water... It'll protect it from going through into the chipboard and messing it up, okay? Um, this way, if it gets the on it like I did here, you could just wipe it off and it's fine. So it's a little bit waterproof this way. And then on the edges, this is just black duct tape, okay? And this is black duct tape as well that holds it up right here. And then the other thing about this, this was actually kind of an accident. Um, I didn't know that the duct tape was going to be that strong to hold that up, but it does a really great job. And so that means I could just have it on one side so that since I'm right-handed, I can just move around here freely without this getting in the way, which was one of my original concerns. But now the concern is gone because it works fantastic right there. And then over here, I have um, the little sticky metals. The ends were kind of popping up because the metal tape I got was in a roll. Let me see if I can't. In this roll right here. Um, so since it was wound up when I tried to stick it down, the ends kept popping up. So I just taped them down. I might end up gluing it in the end anyways. But um, yeah. So the reason why I decided to do the metal was because I have this metal tin that holds my um, brushes. There they are. And then I have made a lot and I use a lot of my own little um, homemade palette things. Because the sketches, I don't, I have I have this nice Cotman Windsor Newton um, watercolor set. But I generally try to save this because it was kind of expensive and then for just sketches that I'm doing just to learn how to do stuff I'll use um, my little tins that I made with like a lot cheaper watercolors like the Artist Loft um, brand so there I have my watercolors and this is all metal so 
it sticks on there really nice. And then I have this. This I got at Michael's. They're little um, palette water containers. And they have a clip right there. So I don't need... Um, hold on, these have water in them. <laughs> Let me see if I can work it on there somehow. Oh, without spilling it. I don't know if this is gonna... The reason why is... There we go. It's really easy to get this on here. I'm just freaking out because there's water in there and I don't want to spill it everywhere. But yeah. Sits on there just like that. It's really nice. I am like really loving this. I couldn't believe it when I found it because I was looking for materials to make this thing with. And I was like, oh, this is perfect because I was trying to figure out how I'm going to fit the water on here. So this worked out great. And then the caps, it's all watertight because they have that rubber in there. So, but yeah, um, let me actually see. I want to get this on here so I could show you guys. I got the magnets on there because this metal stuff is usually pretty slippery. And even if I keep it on tables, it's usually sliding around if I um, knock something around or if I move a little bit. So... I wanted the magnets to make sure everything stayed in place. And it really does. And I just want to show you guys. Ah, no lighting there. <laughs> How about this? Shake it a little bit. It's really nice and sturdy. So I can even take this out um, ah, in like hikes or um, stuff like that in a pack on my side. And then I could just hold this with one hand and paint with the other. Granted, it would have to be sketches because I don't want to be, you know, this might get a little bit tired. Um, I have another idea of what I kind of want to do with that. Which, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Um, I wanted to see if I can get like a little thing that goes around my neck and then have this hang down. You guys know how at the shows back in the days they would have the, little, the girls walking around with the cigarette carton things and they were like hanging by around their neck. You know what I mean? The little tables, but they were attached to the person. So I want to see if I could um, configure and put together one of those for myself in those kinds of situations when I'm alone. <laughs> I don't really know if I want to do that up in public, but um, I could always sit down and then just have this there. So it provides a really nice flat surface and a place where I can hold my um, paper for watercolor. And if that's too small a piece of paper, you can always take an entire sketchbook and just sit it up against this. So it works perfect for any situation that you're in. And because this whole kind of bottom part has the magnets, then you could always just reconfigure this around if you need to. It doesn't have to stay in the exact shape that it's in right now. So you could just move it all around. The one thing I do want to work on is for the situations where I do want to have my more fancier palette with me. Um, I tried gluing the strips to the back of this thing and then trying to see if it'll stick to that, but it doesn't. So I'm not really sure. I think the only thing I can do for something like this is just get some washi tape and just tape it down temporarily while I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And then um, when I'm done, just take it off. So 
that's definitely a good enough solution for me at this point. I don't mind doing that at all, so that'll work. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys like this idea. Um, so with four pieces of chipboard, the two panes, and the duct tape, I'm pretty sure I spent under $10 for all of that stuff. This, I think, was around 4 or $5, and then everything else I had. So, um, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty easy. The duct tape, one roll from Dollar Tree was enough. So it was a dollar for that. It was like 5 bucks for the chipboard so that's six and two but yeah so it was around eight or nine dollars to um make this whole thing not bad not bad at all i would really recommend this as well i just oh this is amazing i can't believe i found this super excited about that so yeah see you guys in my next video bye